Jenny's Tattletales. I'm Jenny Heckman, author of the fantasy romance series Heaven and Earth. And this lovely lady to my left is Andrea Florescu, who is the marketing manager for Celtic Butterfly Publishing. And uh, today we have contemporary romance author uh, Ariana Rose. I'm so excited to have you on. Her, her series is the Stone Trilogy. And today we are spotlighting her Turn to Stone novel. So very excited to have you on, Ariana. Thank you so Thank much you for being here. Um, so you. You, today you're on our, our website, JennyHeckman.com, Jenny's Tattle Tales, and you're doing a character interview. And uh, so we're not going to go too much yeah. into that. The only question I have for that is why Julian Stone? Why did you pick him? Oh boy. Well, Julian is my first hero. So he's always going to kind of hold this special place for me. But when somebody asks me, they're like, which character are you most like? every single time I answer Julian. Oh. So he's kind of, I wouldn't say he's the male version of me, but I just think a lot of times how he thinks about, you know, love and life and just things in general, his responses are, like, I didn't have to think when he spoke. It was oh. just, it was just, he spoke. And so he's kind of special. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Where did your whole inspiration uh, for writing originate? Where did, where did it start? Um, well, I had been doing a lot of um, improv writing with friends and I just literally decided, you know, it's what been four years now. So four years ago to just see what I could do and try and start writing. And one novel turned into two, which turned into a series of three, which turned into five. And now wow. I've got four, yeah, four others planned for this year. So Ooh, you're going to get all, that all, you think that all four will come out this year? Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little behind, um, had some, uh, family things that happened, unfortunately, that kind of pushed my time schedule back, but you know, I'm trying to get my head wrapped back into writing because my creative space is my safe space. So mm, I if I can it. get back there, I, sh I should see that these come out pretty good. And I'm hoping um, there's one that's coming out at the, the end of this year, beginning of next year, that might even be a collaboration. Oh, fun. Oh, so that's great. We haven't finalized all the deal and details yet, but that might be a thing. Oh, so that's that really cool. Good for you. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so I, my next one is, do you have a genre? So your contemporary romance, do you have a yes. genre that you uh, wish you had written or would like to write that's not contemporary romance? Anything that you'd like to try? I want to go into paranormal because oh. I, if, I don't know if it was, if these four pictures over my shoulder are, I love the Vampire Diaries, the original. Oh <laughs> I, I went to all the conventions, so I've got, you know, I have pictures a of... friend that went to all the conventions. You probably <laughs> met her there. <laughs> yeah, I was, at Chica I was at Chicago four out she of the five there, times I she, went. She, yep. went. she went to a couple in, I don't know, Hollywood and Arizona and one in London. She went to some Europe. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so vampires. vampires. Yes, it's. I love vampires, but I also like the witch aspect, I'm very drawn to like um, the New Orleans culture. So I, I wanted some, at some point do something with that. I have to find the right idea, the right inspiration, the right story to be able to put out there. But yeah. mir marrying both like the, like the witches and vampires type thing or um, with New Orleans would be my it's ideal a perfect for setting. Kind of that is, out. That's a great setting. <laughs> that's a yeah, great right. Setting. I know. Yeah. I love that place. It's so it's fantastic. Ah, uh, awesome. If okay, so do you have a newsletter? I do have a newsletter. Okay, um, so here's my question for this because yeah. there are hundreds of newsletters out there. So my question to you is, what would somebody benefit from subscribing to your newsletter? Well, I like to keep people that subscribe to my newsletter, kind of much like I do with my Facebook group. Sometimes there's exclusives. I do giveaways that are only contained in, you know, my newsletter. Some, I also like to give back with my newsletter. So, I mean, we're, the indie community is a small community. And if we don't promote each other, 
it's not going to, you know, some of us are not going to even be seen because it's just, there's so much. Yeah. So I like to, you know, give portions to my friends. So they might find a paranormal romance or a sports romance, which is another category that I love very much. And then, <laughs> and, yeah. And then, or a contemporary romance, you know, Hey, check out my friends, you know, release coming out or whatever. And then it's been very helpful with kind of navigating, um, the worlds that we've been in as well to kind of highlight in some way, you know, if you liked this book of me, you might like this book of theirs. And so we kind of just do those trade-offs, which is a really good thing just to kind of bring that community back around together. Okay. And you'll also be able to find Ariana's uh, sign-up form, uh, or the link to her sign-up on, uh, on Jenny, uh, Heckman.com on the Jenny's Tattletales page for Ariana Rose. So, uh, look for that. Uh, and then, so here, you're just going to finish this sentence. My life would be absolutely okay. complete if Okay, my book life would be absolutely complete with turning at least one of my stone trilogy into a screenplay. Woo! And so I'm kind I of putting that I'm kind of putting that out into the universe and I actually am in conversations with a couple different people on how to sort out how to do that. Um I just of, really yeah. I'm just speaking of, I just saw this morning an ad from Shonda Rhimes, a masterclass. She's teaching oh. people how to do screenplays. Oh girl. Um <laughs> Ariana Rose author at gmail.com. Okay, I will send it to you. <laughs> She's the queen. I will right? tell me to tell me to tie bed sheets together and go out my window. I'm done. I'm doing it. Like it's happening. <laughs> Um, I've been trying, yeah, I mean, it's just, I've been trying to figure that out. I've actually got a friend of mine who was interested in doing it and, um, it's, he's the husband of one of my good friends. So it would be interesting to pair up with a male and kind of yeah. get both sides to kind of do that. I've just been really inspired after, you know, I think we're in what year three of passion flicks being a thing and just seeing all the authors that are getting all their romances turned into films and just with you know, Christie's Driven series and then Sylvain Renard's, you know, Gabriel series being out there. It's just really inspiring to see that that can be a thing and it's mo being more of a thing. And then, well, Bridgerton, I mean, we don't even need to say it. <laughs> <laughs> that is Andrea's favorite. Yeah, I've been reading a book like that for probably the last 50 years. <laughs> yeah, love me some Duke. That's all I can say. Sorry, right? <laughs> <laughs> so is there a message in your novels, uh, in this one in particular, that you would like readers to grasp? Oh, there's a lot of different things, but I think it's layered. So it's, I want, I want people to realize that things aren't always as they seem. And that when you find your true mate, fight for them. Ooh, nice. Because that doesn't happen very often. Um, and sometimes you think somebody's your true mate and they end up leaving your life one, one way or another. And it's to exit so that your actual true mate can come. Mm. Well, sometimes, be given yeah. to you. sometimes somebody needs to leave to make room for that whole idea of, yeah. of closing a door and opening a window yes. or open, closing a window and opening a door. One of the two. <laughs> I think, I, I think you had it good the first. Yeah, okay. The first, yeah. I just, I can just see Julie Andrews, you know, spinning around and saying something about that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I went okay. to Liesl in the, in the gazebo is where I went with that. Oh, like, that, I love like, it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Liesl just died just a little bit ago. The real no. Liesl. Yeah, Charmaine somebody. Um, yeah, I heard that she passed away. That was sad, but it was a, that, I do love that show. That was a great show. Um, okay, so I have one last question for you. Yeah. What would you like, uh, what would you most like to say to uh, your readers or the readers that are listening, the, the listeners of the podcast here? What would you like to say to them? Um, I would just like to say, you know, my readers that I already have, thank you so much for all the support that you've given me. Um, you know, oh, here's, here's Turn to Stone. Great cover. You know, thank you. Um, 
I've got, then you go to this one. No Stone Unturned. Oh, yep, that's, that's a great cover too. Do. This is book three. I really like the covers. I like I like that idea of there's action happening on them, and that, that's really cool. Not doesn't have to have the big, you know, chest, chest heaving and all that stuff. Six that's, I do I no. do like action on it. That, that's cool. Yeah, that's that's my thing. I I I want him to go oh, and then kind of go in. So th that's my series. Um, if you get through these. Be patient because I decided to toss a book four in this year. So oh. um, I know um, <laughs> I just I'm very appreciative for the people who have welcomed me into this community and having some opportunities to pair up in worlds with some best selling authors from our genre. The first one, uh, Christy Bromberg. So her Driven series, we did Driven, a Driven World. So this is Twisted and its sequel will come up in June. So I did this one as a duet. Um, so if you like Driven, if you like Field, if you like Crashed, it's that. And then um, by Keelan and Penelope Ward, um, I did their Cocky Hero Club. So this was my first Ooh. attempt at a sports romance. Oh. So if you like hockey players and you like figure skaters, which I'm one of those, um, <laughs> you will dig that. Um, you know, just the main thing for readers is, you know, even if they're not bestsellers, give them a try because everyone has a voice and everyone has something to say. That's true. That's great. great a lot of times great. you find really, really good books from new authors. Yeah. Yeah. I remember my daughter coming to me one time and saying, mom, there's this new series that's out that I really, really like. And, and it's got such a great premise and it's, I don't, I, I don't really know this author, but I'm, I'm going to try it. And I was like, Oh, what's it about? And she goes, Oh, these kids, they go into this weird arena and they, and they have to fight each other to the death. And, and uh, I don't know, I, you know, it's, it's just such a great concept. And I'm like, what are you reading? <laughs> well, it was the Hunger, Hunger Games. Games. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And the minute you said that, I was like, Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. She, yeah. Had, she, it was, and she had never heard of her before. And the, and so your your comment is is absolutely perfect because yes, that you you find little gems in in that the little diamonds in the roughs. So that's great. Yeah, I'm one of okay. those. Well, okay. this is yeah. <laughs> this is really really fun, and I just want to say thank you so much for joining us, Ariana. And if you want thank to you. read. Uh, anything on on her, you go onto her website. It's Ariana Rose Author dot Wixsite dot com. And, and uh, I'd like to give a shout out. Sorry, I didn't mean to ahead, step no. on you, but I'd like to give a shout out to my daughter Alexis, who designed my website. Oh nice. wow, wonderful, wonderful. Yep, she's, she's a senior in college, and so that's part of what she does. And she's given it just the beautiful, most beautiful overhaul. So. Oh, Thank wonderful. You, so she's going to go, is that what she wants to go into? Yep. She's going to be a graphic designer. So oh, wow. she does a lot of web-based things. So that's. Well, it's nice to have one of those in your pocket. <laughs> 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 well, what's your daughter's name? Alexis. Alexis. So check out Alexis's work on Ariana ariannaroseauthor.wixsite.com. And thank, thank you, you again. It's been such thank a pleasure. Thank you so much. Same. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to, nice meet, to meet you as well. Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.